which means, let me explain to you in my words, na may kareem sa mga pagkali ng sarap in such way that when Allah tabarak wa ta'ala wants to do better with the person, wants to do good with the person, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala blesses him with the knowledge of fitah. Knowledge of fitah is granted to that person whom Allah ta'ala wants to do better, whom Allah ta'ala wants to do good, whom Allah ta'ala wants to make him his friend. The value of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he is being granted the knowledge of fitah. My dear brothers, all these muhaddisi, all these mufassiri, by having great status, by having high status, including Sayyidina Rasulullah and Nabi Allah Ta'ala, who was a follower of Imam Shafi, is there any shortcoming in the knowledge of Sayyidina Rasulullah and Nabi Allah Ta'ala? If he said, I am a mujtahid, we will definitely accept and he is a mujtahid. But yet, he followed Sayyidina Imam Shafi and Nabi Allah Ta'ala. And at the stage, Lord Sayyidina Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal رضي الله تبارك وتعالى سيدنا إمام خاجة محيي الدين جشبي رضي الله تعالى عنه what a great ali he was what a great wali he was and he was Imam al-Awliya he also followed Sayyidina Imam Abu Hanifa رضي الله تعالى عنه Sayyidina Imam Bahaud bin Nashbati Sayyidina Abu Shahab bin Suhabati all these great Imams of the Rita they all followed any one of the four Imams yet they were great awliya they were leaders of the awliya they were As ordinary ones, these are such great imams that it is compulsory on us to follow any one of the four imams. When these only are, such as Hausul Adam, such as Khaja Mubayyudin, such as Bahauddin Nashbati, such as Shahabuddin Sohabati, when all these only are, including Muhaddisi, Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Imam Tirmizi, when they all follow any one of the four imams, they just imagine the status of the ilm of the four imams. Who can grab, who can understand the knowledge of Imam Abu Hanifa, who can understand the knowledge of Imam Mali, Imam Shafri, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal? Let me tell you one more thing. Last night I was reading a book of Sayyidina Ala Hazrat Ali Allah Ta'ala. He has mentioned this with the references, Subhanallah. The one who has by heart, who has the knowledge of 400,000 hadith, still he is not able get the meaning, deny the meaning from the hadith. Maybe he has got 400,000 hadith in his memory. Still, he is not capable to deny the meaning from the hadith of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa And if such a person has got knowledge of 500,000 hadith, still, he got something, but we cannot say with confirmity that he is able to deny the meaning from the hadith of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa 400,000 hadith, 500,000 hadith, after having such knowledge, still when they are unable to derive the meaning from the hadith of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that too in Arabic language, and that too by understanding the Quran, by understanding the hadith, by understanding the narrators, their life history, subhanallah, even after everything, they were followers of the Imam, they were unable to derive the meaning of the hadith, what about these so-called doctors and professors who say we can refer to the translation of Quran, we can refer to the translation of Hadith, and this is the meaning of this Hadith. Imam Shafi Allah Ta'ala has stated, if you find the Hadith, which is if you find my own, which is against the Hadith and Quran, then leave my own and follow the Quran and Sunnah. That was these people say, Imam Abu Hanifa Allah Ta'ala has stated, if you find my narration, my call against the Holy Quran and against the Hadith, then leave my call, follow the Quran and Sunnah. So these so-called doctors and professors, they say, we got everything in Hadith. We have got everything in a small CD, in a pen drive. We can search for the Hadith translation. Though they are unable to read the Quran properly, they are unable to read the Hadith properly, but yet they say, we have everything in a small CD. So we know which Hadith is Sahih, which Hadith is Sahih. So we are rejecting the call of Imam Abu Hanifa Ma'adullah. We are rejecting the call of Imam Shafi Allah Ta'ala Ma'adullah. My dear brothers, Imam Abu Hanifa did say that. But not for us. He told that for the Mujtahideen. Those who got such a knowledge. Imam Shafi did explain that. But not for us. It was one of his students named Sayyidina Ibrahim Radiallahu Ta'ala. These people, they have omitted the word Ibrahim. Imam Shafi said, Oh Ibrahim, oh my student, you got the knowledge of you are being blessed with the knowledge of Ishtihar and a Mujtahid is such a person who has complete command in Arabic language, who, is, who has complete command with the knowledge of Arabic and also he knows which verse was revealed first, which verse was revealed later, which hadith was revealed first, which hadith was revealed later and which hadith 
contradicts from which hadith, which ayah contradicts from which ayah. And if there is a mystical, if there is a contradiction in our side with the hadith and the Quran, then which to follow? What about the narrator? The history of the narrators, how the narrators were. There are plenty of narrators in some hadith, three narrators, some hadith, five narrators, some hadith, seven narrators. Yet this imam, this mujtahid should be aware of all. Whether this hadith is sahih, is it hasan, is it sahih, is it gharib? For them to tell this, they should have all those knowledge and also they should have this knowledge. What about the verses of the Holy Quran? What are the meanings of this Holy Quran? In such way that the Mujtahid, he used to write one hadith in 60 days. If I take this meaning of this hadith in this way, what would be the meaning? If I take this hadith in that way, what would be the meaning? In 60 days, they used to deny the meaning of the hadith. And we people, by just referring to the hadith of translation, just referring to the translation of Quran, we used to say, not we, Alhamdulillah, we are the followers of Imam. Those so-called people, they used to say, we don't need to follow any Imam because we got everything in our hands. My dear brothers, they, they do not possess anything except ignorance because they are unaware of the reality. My dear brothers, the, the door of the Mujahid is not closed yet, but it is very difficult to find the Mujtahid with such a knowledge, inshaAllah, Aziz. Imam Mahdi Radhi he will appear and he will have such a knowledge that he is able to derive the meaning from Quran and Hadith as a Mujtahid. So I was referring, Sayyidina Imam Shafi Radhi told his student Ibrahim that, Oh Ibrahim, oh my student, you have been given such a knowledge. But in your ijtihad, if you find any contradiction on my call, then you refer to the Quran and Hadith. And these people, they have omitted that word Ibrahim and they did. Imam Shafi has said for all the people. Imam Abu Hanifa has said for all the people. We are unable to derive the meaning. When those Muhaddis who have memorized 400,000 Hadith, they are unable to derive the meaning of Hadith. Who are we to say this is the meaning of this Hadith without the explanation of any of Imam? Subhanallah, my dear brothers, this is a lengthy subject, but let me tell you at end, Allah wa ta'ala has stated in Quran, وَمَنْ يَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلْهِ مَا تَبَلَّى وَنُسْبِهِ جَهَنَّمْ وَسَاءَتْ مُسْرِرَى The one who, who deviates from the major majority of the Muslims, Allah wa ta'ala will make him stay as he is, and Allah ta'ala will put him in Jahannam, because he has gone out of the way from the path of the majority of the Muslims. Today you see majority of the Muslims, they are the follower of four mazhab, including all the awliya, including all the muhaddisim, all the mufassirin, and also Sayyidina Imam Tahtabi radiallahu ta'ala who has stated, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah has been divided into four mazhab in this era, and anyone who deviates from any of these four mazhab, Fahuwa bin Ahl al-Bid'ah, he is a person of Bid'ah, Wanna, and he is the person of the Hellfire. My dear brothers, my topic was today to say a few words about Sayyidina Imam Shafi'i bin Allah Ta'ala What a great Imam he was. Alim al Quraysh, he was from the Quraysh tribe, he was from such a tribe which was linked with Nabi Khalid Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah Ta'ala Sallallahu has stated, Alim of Quraysh, he will fill the whole earth with milk. There are many Manali from Quraysh who will fill the earth with knowledge, with ilm. And Muhaddisin says that that hadith is referred to Sayyidina Imam Shafi'i radiya Allah Similarly, there are hadiths for Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik as well. My dear brothers, Imam Shafi'i radiya Allah ta'ala was such a pious person that at the age of seven he completed the whole Holy Quran. He memorized the whole Holy Quran. At the age of seven he became a Hafiz. And at the age of 12, as he was studying under Imam Malik also, at the age of 12, he has memorized the whole Mawatta Imam Malik, the Hadith book written by Sayyidina Imam Malik He had already memorized before he reached the age of 12. Allah Akbar. And at the age of 15, Sayyidina Imam Malik and other great Imams gave the authority that Imam Shafi'i is a capable person and he is a Mufti. He is able to give fatwa at the age of 15. At the age of 7, completion of the Holy Quran, memorizing the Holy Quran. At the age of 12, completing the Hadith book written by Imam Malik, thousands of Hadith in his memory. And he had already recited the Hadith in front of Imam Malik. And Imam Malik was 
very much pleased when he saw this young boy is reciting by memory the whole hadith of mine, the whole hadith which I collected. Muatta Imam Malik at the age of 15, he was granted such a certificate that he was able to give fatawa. Subhanallah. And my dear brothers, Imam Shafi Ta'ala, who was a very handsome person, and it is also narrated that his beard was full of hands, one fist, and it is also narrated that Sayyidina Imam Shafi Ta'ala was such a pious person that every day he used to recite the whole Quran every day. Every day he used to complete the whole Holy Quran and during the month of Ramadan he used to complete the Holy Quran 60 times that is two Holy Quran each day and he used to divide his sleeping time his night into three parts out of three parts if there are six or seven hours he used to divide into three parts one part for, for him to rest other part to recite the Holy Quran and the third part to study the knowledge of Quran and the Hadith of Nabi Karim my dear brothers, Sayyidina Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal radiallahu ta'ala who has stated that for last 30 years there was never such a day that I did not make dua for Imam Shafi radiallahu ta'ala. 30 years I am engaged in making dua for Sayyidina Imam Shafi radiallahu ta'ala. He was also a student Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal. He was also a student of Sayyidina Imam Shafi radiallahu ta'ala. And see the other Though so they got Imam Shafi, got such a knowledge, such wisdom, such prominency, that what he said, he saw a dream. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala who came in his dream, said salam, made musafaha, and Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala who gave him a ring. When he inquired about this dream, he was told by his uncle, the meaning, the interpretation of this dream is, when Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala who gave musafaha to you, that means you are free from the azhar. When Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala gave you his ring, that means they are ever the name of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala who is popular. Your name also will be popular there. Sayyidina Imam Ali radiallahu ta'ala whose name is all over the world. Similarly, the name of Imam Shafi you can find in all the parts of the world. See Sri Lanka, see India, see Pakistan, no majority of the followers of our Hanif and Hanif Mazhab. Yet there are Shafi followers. See the whole of Indonesia following Shafi Mazhab. See the whole of Egypt following Shafi Mazhab. My dear brothers, all these followers of all four Imams, they are spread all over the world. So though he got such a such a uh, status in the sight of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he got such a prominency, yet see their humbleness. He says that we are children of Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala in fiqh. Imam Abu Hanifa is the father of fiqh and we all are children of Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala and he used to visit Sayyidina Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala in Baghdad he used to visit his Mazar Sharif, his shrine and when he himself says when I find some kind of difficulties I used to go to Baghdad I used to visit Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala I used to pray to Rakat Nafil and I used to ask Dua by the Wasila of Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala and my problem used to be solved by the Barakah of Imam Abu Hanifa radiallahu ta'ala who says one Imam, such an Imam who is followed by majority of the Muhaddisin and Mufassirin such an Imam says that I used to see the Wasila of Imam Abu Hanifa in the time of difficulties and Allah ta'ala used to make me make those difficulties ease for me and Sayyidina Imam Shafi radiallahu ta'ala who great person that Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal radiallahu ta'ala who he used to visit for his problems at the Mazar of Sayyidina Imam Shafi radiallahu ta'ala though they were Imams yet they respected each other so my dear brothers we have to follow the path of the majority of the Ahlul Sunnah the part of the majority of the Muslim that means we have to follow the Ahlul Sunnah the Jama'ah we are not following Allah we are being Baza by Billah Salih Sakar the Sajidai or the Rahim Green those scholars who are just for the name these people, they follow Bimbas and Abdul Bahad Mujdi as the Imam. The difference is you follow the Imam of last century and we follow the Imam of the second century. You follow the Imam of this era and we follow the Imams who are followed by all the Muhammadin and Mufassirin. So who is greater in status? You are us. Anyhow, though you say you don't follow any Imam, but yet, yet you follow Abdullah ibn Bimbas, yet you follow Ibn Abdul Bahad Mujdi, yet you follow Ibn Taymiyyah. But Alhamdulillah, we are following those Imam who were followed by Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Sayyidina Abu Sulaman, Sayyidina Khaja Mu'inuddin and all the Allah Tabarakah wa 
Ta'ala. So Alhamdulillah, we are on the right path. And as for the Quran, وَمَنْ يَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَبَلَّهُ وَنُسْلِهِ جَعْنَمُ The one who deviates from the heart of the Muslims, Allah Ta'ala will let him remain in his path. And Allah Ta'ala will put him into Jahannam, which is a bad place, Alhamdulillah. And also Allah Ta'ala stated in the Quran, in Surah Bani Israel, يَوْمَ نَدُرُ كُلَّ أُنَاسِمْ بِإِمَامِهِمْ On the day of judgment, every person will be called with the name of his Imam. So the Tafsir, one of the Tafsir says, O oh, people of Hanafi Mazhab, come this side. O oh, people of Shafi Mazhab, come this side. O oh, people of Muhammad Mazhab and Malik Mazhab, you are granted success. You are granted salvation. This is one of the tafsir. On the day of judgment, every person will be called with the name of their Imam. So Alhamdulillah, we are happy. We won't be called the follower of Ibn Taymiyyah or Ibn Abdul Wahab, but we will be called as Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, and Hanbali. And these people, they used to say this also. Quran states, Ya ayyuhal ladina amnu, Ati wa Allah wa Ati wa Rasulah wa Kulil Amri minkum. Fa obey Allah and His Rasul and obey the Imam. And they was in the prayer. Don't stop from this ayah. See the next part of this verse. Did these people they used to say that Allah has said, "Fain tanazatun." If you find any contradiction with this imam, for do with Allah or Rasul. They do again search in Quran and Hadith. My dear brothers, this is not for us. Allah Taala stated this for those mujtahid who are capable to do this. Who after deriving meanings from the Quran and Hadith, and yet if they find any difficulties, it is for those mujtahidin to refer to Quran and Hadith again, not for the common people. And this is the Tafsir recorded in Tafsir Kabir, Tafsir uh, even Tafsir Sawi, and many other Tafasir. This is what is mentioned, and these people are just by referring to the translation of the Quran, they are trying to mislead the general public. So please be aware from these people, and also before all that, the time is short. I'm very sorry for that. We are. We have no right to comment on any Imam that they did such a mistake. The way Zakir Naik says, Imam Abu Hanifa made a mistake in this place. Imam Shafi made a mistake in this place. We have no right. Sayyidina Al Zakariya Al Ansari, رضي الله تعالى عنه رأيت, which is written in the book of Imam Abdul Wahab Sharani. That means Imam Sharani says that Sayyidina Al Zakariya Al Ansari, not this Zakariya of this era. We are referring to the Sayyidina Al Zakariya رضي الله تعالى عنه. And recorded by Imam Abdullah Al Sharani, that Sayyidina Zakaria Al Ansari, that Allah Taala has said, you have no right to say any about to come in about any thought of Imam as a mistake unless you become a mujtahid. Unless you become an Imam, you have no right to come in from that. And also Allah Taala has said, Allah Taala has stated, those great Imams such as Sahib Al Hidayah, such as Sahib Al Quduri, those great Imams who were five hundred. Before even those imam, they have no rights to comment on any call, any statement of an imam. Let it be Imam Shafi or Imam Hanafi or Hanbali or Maliki. Even these great imams, they have no rights to comment that this is wrong and this is right. Allah Akbar. When such great imams, they have no rights to comment and say that imams made a mistake. Who the hell are we? Say that imams made a mistake. May Allah Taala protect all of us. I am sorry for using harsh words. This is because today people are being misled by so-called so-called scholars. So it is my duty and the duty of ulama to make you aware of these things so that we and our children can be refrained from these people. May Allah Taala forgive our sins and may Allah Taala make all of us firm on the faith of Allah Sunnah and may Allah Taala make us firm on following the. Imams, and before I end one announcement with the permission of the Hash Board, we have we did a conference, Akida conference, in 4th of June. The DVD of that, which is ready now, which is available at the office and at here for 350 rupees, two sets of DVD, along with a book named Ja Al Haq, the book which contains which contains everything, more majority parts of the Akida, such as our Nabi possesses the knowledge of Ansin El Murtai. He is present, celebrating Milad Nabi. Prophets are alive. Prophets are cannot commit sins. These things are good from the Quran and the Hadith. That is 500. This DVD is 350. Spend 850 rupees and protect your iman. And I will say, buy an extra one or two copies and give it to your friends. Give it to your children. Give it to your friends and families. If any one of them comes to the right path by referring to these books, 
this will be enough for your nature. We are not going to work on this policy.